Hi, my name is Kaylee Stark and I'm from Queens, New York. I know that there are a lot of challenges for people pursuing careers in STEM, especially for women. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the challenges that you face and how you've persevered through them to get to the places you're at now. Kaylee, um, there are many challenges that women face, but then um, also everyone faces as you escalate in a career in medicine and in public health. Issues related to salary, to discrimination, to childbearing, and I have always sort of interpreted them as an embarrassment of riches, um, that I had the opportunity to do all of these things. And the wise thing that someone once said to me is, you're going to have a lot of balls in the air all the time. Life is going to be a juggle. And you just have to remember which ones are glass. And you never let the grass, glass ones drop. And so those glass ones in my world are my family. Make sure that they are always well protected and well cared for, and then everything else um, that I get to do. Patient care, public health, now director of the CDC is really just extraordinary gravy. Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm from Newton, Massachusetts. My question for Dr. Walensky is what steps do you think need to be taken to create a more inclusive and encouraging community for young girls who are interested in STEM? Hannah, this is such an important question. First, we need to open the doors and to make sure that there are plentiful opportunities for girls and women to, to step into the field. And then second of all, we need to make sure that women and girls are not intimidated to come forward. I can tell you many, many times in my career where I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not gonna step into that or I'm not gonna be on that podium or look at that audience. But if you let those intimidate you, then you never lean in. And I have actually told my mentees that the most important thing you need to do when you're intimidated is blow it out of the park and just make sure you give the best talk ever um, and be prepared um, and not be intimidated. Get in the door.